Welcome to Opening Acts here at 1871, Chicago's digital startup hub. Uh, Opening Acts is where we introduce an exciting new company. Uh, as some of you know, I chair Chicago Ventures, and so tonight, in full transparency, this is an investment of ours. Just shows you how excited we are. Uh, Brielle Buckberg and Kelsey Lutz here from Luxury Garage Sale. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So Luxury Garage Sale, I, uh, I just hired the newest employee to our company, and she said, I love Chicago Ventures. And I said, why? And she said, because you invested in Luxury Garage Sale, which is my favorite company. <laughs> so for those who don't know why someone should be so excited, what does Luxury Garage Sale do? So we are a designer consignment brand. Um, consignment in general means that people give us things once they sell. We then give them 60% of the sale. Um, we focus on women's designer clothing and accessories. So we have clients around the country, um, including individuals who sell their gently pre-owned items, um, whether it be a life circumstance or a change of heart or buyer's so remorse. Who is your typical buyer and who is your typical seller or consigner? Like what, what kind of items would they be shopping for? They are shopping for or selling uh, premier designer clothing and accessories. So handbags, shoes, and then all sorts of clothing. And it's mostly women's. Mostly women. And uh, how long have you been in business now? We have been in business for five years. Five years. And you started off physical and have moved more online? We started off physical doing pop-up shops. Got so it. we didn't open our store until the end of 2012, okay. our first store. We opened another store in Chicago and one in Dallas this past year. Well, great. Um, and I know uh, Brian Spaley from Trunk Club, who Chicago founders on your board. Did that influence going to Dallas at all? Because that was Trunk Club's second market. It didn't influence it, um, but it definitely backed up things we were already thinking. Um, we, we decided to go there, and then Brian obviously supported it. That's great. And so uh, you should put him on the sales floor, by the way. He's an excellent salesperson. Well, think about that. <laughs> so where did the idea come from? The idea came from um, my co-founder, Lindsay, and myself. So Kelsey is actually our COO. Lindsay and I founded the company. Um, so my grandparents actually owned an antique business. And when they were retiring, I was helping them sell their excess inventory. So I started selling it on eBay for them. I kind of got hooked. And Lindsay, my partner, was working in fashion at the time. She was cleaning out people's closets. And we kind of got together and started doing this for friends and for family. We saw a hole in the market. And as we started doing it, we saw more and more of a need. And it kind of just took off from there. That's great. So. Um, I know you've had some success. We, you did a funding round last year. We did, yeah, last uh, year. I'll, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so what kind of traction do you have? What can you share with people about what's been happening in the business? Yeah, so I can kind of step in. Um, so prior to 2015, we had been completely bootstrapped. We were operating out of the back of a store in um, Old Town. Um, we're cash flow positive and essentially turning consigners away because um, we didn't have any room to house the physical product. So given the demand, we decided to go out and raise our first institutional round um, from great investors like Chicago Ventures and Brian Spaley, um, and really proved in 2015 that we could scale a business. So we opened up two different storefronts, expanded into new markets. Um, Dallas opened up another store in Chicago, moved to a 25,000 square foot warehouse um, where we could grow intake and really start to profit all the inventory that we sell both in stores and online. Um, and you know, last month, which was historically the slowest retail month in all of you know the entire year, um, we really measure our business in both intake, which is all the product that we get in, as well as sales. And in both channels, we tripled from the same month um, prior to 2015. And this is getting to be hot space you're in. How, how do you differentiate against other players already in this space? Yeah, so we have a lot of well, <laughs> we have a lot of differentiators. Um, we're an omni-channel seller. So we sell through our storefronts, and then we sell online. We also have a team of mobile stylists who can kind of bring product to clients as well. Um, so we differentiate ourselves that way. Also, just through the experience in general. It's really just a luxury experience. Um, consignment in general kind of has a negative connotation attached to it or used to um, prior to us. Um, so, you know, you'd go into a store, it'd be antiquated, the inventory would be picked over, you wouldn't have a great experience, it might not smell great. Um, you come to us and you're really having a high-end shopping experience. You feel like you're in a high-end store and the level of service that you receive and the inventory, you know, the brands we're selling, Chanel, Hermes, really premier designers. Um, it's just really a luxury experience all around. Great. And uh, last question we always ask is, what's the vision for the long term? What will luxury garage sale be when it grows up if you achieve your ambitions? Uh, world domination. World domination? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Excellent plan. plan. Yeah. Awesome. Well, great. Congratulations on Thank your great you. start, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.